Alrighty then, let me get my uh, links posted and we will start this shindig. See, I could be posting links now, but it won't let my mouse go. Give me my mouse, game. Alright. Map. So it is uh, spring, year six. I'm going to toss these over here. All the places. Oh, yep. So we've already made it in year six. Uh, we have tier three of most of the buildings. I think the only one we don't have is the large house and the storage three. Let's see, there we go. So spring's gonna be kind of a weird time we're gonna pay taxes and then it's kind of an open road at that point we might start switching our houses out for the people that have already got married and had one kid uh, so they can have another kid if they need it to keep our population at least same as it was before we uh we get too old. But I wonder if they'll have a second set of kids. I think that's the only way to make the population actually grow is them having a second set of kids. Alright, let's management fields. Got flax. Management. Now let's see what they do with it. talking yesterday about maybe doing an entire year today I think we're probably gonna just do a season today I'm uh I woke up so sleepy <laughs> I think even playing this game two hours is gonna make me want to curl up and go back to sleeps but uh yeah it's one of those days To what our logs and uh, stone looks like. <sighs> logs and rocks. Arrows. Yeah, everything's going pretty much according to plan. Let's go see uh, how much cabbage they didn't get done. <gasps> 59 at 25%. We'll, s we'll see how far they end up getting. I have 63 pottage right now. I 
I have to laugh because I still think gruel's the easiest thing to cook in a rotation. Management building. Tavern. <sighs> Sorry, man. Pottage. I'm making almost one an hour. Food to my end is 30. Eh. Could be good. Still slow on the crafting XP, though. Good morning. I'm, uh, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble going back to sleep after this. <laughs> Hi, Zon. Ah, drink some coffees. Oh, yeah, I didn't need to get that repaired, too. Let's check and see how much buildings we got damaged. It's just the one. Yep. Okay. Do be do do. Sticks, sticks, sticks. There we go. Should be plenty for the repair. Yes. Exactly. I can have a completely horrible, horrible day, but as long as it started out with coffee, I can make it through it. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Uh, repair. <sighs> All right, I guess our first quest is the quest we do every spring. So taxes was thirty six fifty last year. So actually a little less expensive than I thought it was going to be. I thought it'd be right at four grand. Looks like all the trees we massacred are back. <laughs> uh, said my cabinets and stuff in my home could be completely bare and the fridge can be completely empty as long as I have coffee and milk. Those are two things I do not run out of. Zon, I say coffee flavored coffee too. So somebody goes, What kind of flavored coffee do you want? I say, uh, coffee flavored coffee. I do like the occasional vanilla latte, but it is not a daily staple in my coffee consumption by any means. Good there. I think I'm gonna help speed the thrash up just a little bit today. Then we'll go town to town and sell some seeds. Oh, 
They're not doing too bad by themselves. <laughs> yeah, a lot of time though, people have a little bit of trouble getting used to the bitterness. One second. I usually uh, put milk in mine for my own safety. Because I have a habit of taking big swigs. And on occasion it has been too hot. And like military, sometimes you absolutely don't have the choice of having coffee in, or milk in it, but I like it. I get my vitamin D in and coffee's just cooled down enough not to burn your face off. Mm-hmm. I was also laughing my first uh, first week streaming. I tried to uh, I, like I'm a quiet person. Like if I'm home by myself, I am just quiet. You won't hear me talk for days. But I set it a stream, and uh, we were streaming really really long hours, and my throat started hurting because I had been talking so much, and uh, I lightened up the coffee or uh, milk in my coffee and uh, it burned so it like burned down my throat and I'm like oh, that feels much better <laughs> I'm like why how bad is your throat that a burning coffee feels better than a burning throat I'm like I don't know man I just feel better now but yeah good old coffee Yes, like tingling sensation. Yeah, it's been an interesting day. I uh, checked for any patch notes or anything and nothing so far. Um, so we'll just wait and see what they get going. I know they have a lot of lo language projects in the works right now. Uh, getting the game translated for, for several languages. And then doing the touch-ups on some of the languages. So that's awesome. It means a broader audience for people. Oh, let me let me check the other patch notes. Let me see. They had some upcoming stuff that they were doing. See here, updates. Hmm. Looking through. Oh, they put some of the patch notes in a different language. I was like, wait, what? Let's see here. Hmm. I know those ones specifically for some additional languages. Let's see it right now. Portuguese, Japanese, Czech, Turkish, Ukrainian... Russian, French, Italian. Can't find the other one though. I think it was on pack leaders or something. Uh, let's try this. Um, Swedish, Dutch, and simplified Chinese are the ones they're currently working on. So no, no Norwegian yet. You could ask him and let him know you're interested. I 
have been really receptive to a lot of the community uh, wishes and stuff like that. So they're not not scared to say no, but uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, even if I mean if you're offering to help interpret too, I mean that's a be a big deal for them. Request with a solution. It's good times. Do 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 do. Yes, I know that. What between thrashing and pottage? I think everybody's like, oh my goodness. But at least they fixed uh, the thrashing where it's faster. Can't wait till cooking's this fast. <sighs> All right. Uh, just on the general benefit of slowing it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, food storage. Well, thank you for following. I appreciate it. in here. I get dried milk. Nice. They're not going too slow. That's good. I think uh, last time they were able to make 16 to 18 per season, so hopefully they'll be able to do that, if not more, since they have one extra person now. Rye. Alright, this is the last little bit we're going to thrash. My brain is definitely telling me to go back to bed. I'm like, nope. We made a schedule. And we're at least going to stick to it till Friday. And we'll, we'll see how everything goes after Friday, but... I was at 6.30 because uh, I usually do like getting up in the mornings really early. So I usually have more uh, focus and energy when I wake up like that. But I was up late last night because uh, the guild was raiding. And uh, yeah, so I ended up doing that and I'm like tuckered out. Yeah, these guys should be thrashing all the stuff too, so. Oh, uh, wow, classic. So I'm geared up, so I help with uh, Blackwing Lair and Molten Core. Uh, the one I'm playing on now is Alliance. Um, yeah, so that's what my buddies introduced me to first. Uh, I hadn't ever played WoW until uh, the Classic expansion came out last September, I think. And they rolled Alliance on the server we're on, and so now I'm Alliance on the server we're on. 
I got bored with that and then rolled horde characters as well. Uh, so I do have I have a 160 alliance that's actually super geared. And then I have 160 horde uh, who's kind of just starting. But, yeah. Uh, right now all I'm doing on there is the raid twice a week. The guild does like other stuff too, I just like, I've been too many hours on that game. We started playing WoW day after the TBC came out. Nice. Man, maybe thrashing is a new bedtime story. <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot of people have to back out. Um, mostly because I think like last month we were hit hitting too many raids at, at the same time. And running many, many alts. Trying to push more raids. I think we just got a little overwhelmed. Too much stuff. So they uh, they backed off on it a bit and sorted some people out to groups. That way you weren't having a raid four nights a week. So we'll see. And I think they're recruiting and stuff right now too, so they're doing that. Yeah, if you uh, if you missed the thing here and uh, this play uh, Twitch deletes it, it's not a big deal. I have most of my stuff posted over on YouTube, so it'll be a nice archive for when this game goes live out of early access and people need questions and answers, <laughs> or just somebody that's talking that can play alongside them. Usually just a nice peaceful morning. People pretty much getting ready for work. Nice. I have a rogue that has full eight of eight tier two, even though I use the age core gloves and then the nice nice daggers. I'm uh, pretty good at my rotations. Yeah, edge masters are insanely expensive. I understand that they're really good. Don't get me wrong, but they're so expensive. I know. Today we didn't do much, but we did uh, get some of this stuff processed at least. It's been sitting there. The reason I'm trying to get it processed is because next and summertime of this year it's going to be a lot of processing. More stuff coming into process. So much stuff. <gasps> Sorry, man. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm curious what this season's going to bring. Because like I said, besides paying taxes and uh, that's pretty much it. 
We're not really expanding our population because we already have our 30 people with 4 children. So 34 people. We already have our housing. At least tier 1 for the people that don't have children. The only thing we'll be doing is switching out the people that have a child to a tier 2 house. Yeah, we've only had a few things get spoiled because I wasn't paying attention. So, gruel seems like an easy way to get stuff because it's 20 food and you need 5 ray grime. Ray grime grain to do it. Uh, that's when I had pigs and a tier a tin level 10 animal husbandry on them. I had thousands of manure on the ground. So close. Yes, day one has not been super exciting. <laughs> We're doing stuff. <sighs> not sure when the yawn is going to stop. It'll do it when it does it. I'm going to chug some more coffee. Equivalent, maybe it has some more movement and a progress bar, so at least there's that, right? Yeah, it's already year six in spring. That's still kind of crazy. Went by pretty fast since the patch notes. We got the mine up last night, so we got iron coming in. Iron Arrows actually works in the smithy, which was a nice surprise. So we're auto making iron arrows. We're trying to we'll probably try to run around today and make some monies. So as we get the grain done. There we go. cooking cooking pretty decently it's only day one and they cranked out nine potages already well, this might actually work morning Q we're getting some of the boring chores done this morning
So now we're gonna be restocked again next uh, next season when we're harvesting everything. More of a quiet stream this morning, Q. Mostly because I'm already imagining curling up in bed. Hmm. So I'm trying to think out what we're gonna do for the next four years, because the next big quest isn't for another four years. Yeah, I kind of figured. Still gotta shower and get dressed and get ready. Are you working from home or from the office today? Office, okay. There are students back on campus, isn't there? Is it about the same amount of students, or is it about roughly le less than? I figure you'd still have a crap ton of kids still. I don't go that much. Nice. Yeah, I was laughing. It was like uh, the seniors from earlier this year that had the high school graduations that were all remote or by a Zoom or something like that. Definitely having a different college experience than those that had it two years ago. But I'm hoping a lot of this remote work, once people figure out you can actually do it and be more productive, uh, sticks around. I mean, I meant, I meant a lot of less stress for a lot of different people. Cause you don't have to drive, you don't have to sit there through traffic, you don't have to spend three hours in a commute. Hopefully, uh, they'll be smart about it, and those that they can keep remote. And then when it's safe again, the uh, mandatory fun days in the office. <laughs> I know, different world, I guess. Oh. We just gotta make it two more in-game days. Hi. <sighs> Sorry. Chuckle a little bit. Like the only reason I'm awake is because I was on schedule this morning. Tomorrow won't be so bad. Alright. Not too shabby. And a run. Oh, 
black screen and <laughs> Do they usually call you? Eyes on, I, I feel ya. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's all kinds of stuff going on every day. So, don't have to be a morning person if you don't want to. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I wouldn't be as groggy if I hadn't taken Ambien last night. I feel, like I said, I'm ready to curl up and go back to sleep already. <laughs> nice. You can sprint down there in a snowstorm if you had to. I'm uh, not really looking forward to winter rolling in, mostly because it's cold during winter. And we got all the gold with some flax seeds. We didn't even need to use the arrows yet. I guess we're going to make a circuit to sell. Sell circuit. For day two in spring. Now between the flax seeds and the uh, arrows, I think we'll actually be able to get pretty far before we run out of stuff to sell. We didn't have to go back to base, so we made $7,300 gold. Uh, management. Fold. Room for two. Okay. So we can go to Denuncia, Denica, and get, uh, Two female goats. Then our fold will be full and we can switch to cattle.
We could also cut straight through. Yeah, let's do that. If anybody has questions about buying the game or what's coming up or how much playability is in the game, I'm more than happy to talk to you about it. Or any other questions, just let me know. We won't be hunting the deer. A uh, longbow with the iron arrows. It's got nice range. It doesn't really drop very much compared to the other bows. And uh, besides stamina usage, you don't really have to watch anything. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a preferred method. I've seen other people prefer the crossbow, but they use it like when the animal is about right here. I like to get him from like a sniper position from further away. I like to control my battlefield when I can. Yeah. I know, something about long range shooting makes it, like, more badass, I guess. That's what I think sometimes. It's a silliness factor, but I like it. So, on this reroll with the spear nerfs, that was ridiculous, because I'd gotten so used to spears, I was really good at them. And, um,. The when we rolled it didn't have anything using the spears was pretty brutal. It was amusing after a while, but the first first part was not amusing. The first part was like, oh my god, we're not going to be able to hunt anything. They have fixed them a little bit since then, but they're still really low damage. Yeah, that's what the other guys were saying too. They went ahead and made money so they could get the longbow. monsters in the house today. All the pigs. Yeah, the weight is uh, a little bit harsh. But you're carrying, basically carrying down a whittled, whittled down log. So, there's that. I didn't mind too much when it had some really nice stopping power. But, uh, they ner- No, pig. No! Ow. I was just trying to pick berries this morning. <laughs> uh, 
pigs. Always make me laugh because they don't chase you to the end of the earth, they just chase you far enough away to be annoying. Like, no pigs, stay. Here you can have these berries. Some iron arrows. Nice. The other thing is, I would get a male goat, but uh, there's no breeding right now, so there's no reason for me to get a male goat. Alright, so we're full now. Management house, Sissa. Fold. 12 of 12. There we go. And we still have 32. So we'll head back home and grab a couple thousand. This is it is the beginning of the year and we'll go ahead and get another cow. Definitely a Monday, guys. Definitely a Monday. Yeah. I had one pig and two... Or two pigs and one hog. Because I thought the reproduction stuff would work. And of course it didn't. And then I had rams and sheeps and no reproduction. And, uh, anyway, um, those three pigs, freaking, so much manure. So, so much. Okay, we're getting close back to the house. Early morning stroll. We did finish the food storage right next to the Tavern 3. That was one of our things that we wanted to get done. And we did it. Yeah, I think fertilizer will pay for itself. I don't think that'll be a problem. Especially on uh, 
flax or wheat fields. Man, I am like, my brain says to go to sleep, and I'm like, no. All right. Uh, so if you have that, have them make dried meat to slow down the meat production a little bit. And it will, uh, sell for more than regular meat does. So at least you'll have that coming in, and they'll still be productive in gaining XP's. Oh, cow, cattle. I was like, why are we here? Hello. And we're broke. Okay. So we should have tons of milk flooding in. thing we've never done before. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, I hope they figure out how to speed up the uh, cra crafter XP for the workers soon. Some of us have had our workers for many, many years and we haven't even moved them. And they're still not leveled up for the uh, crafting. Like you won't see anything above a three here. And most of them started out as a three, t two to three years ago. Sorry, mornings. I'm pretty sure we can't have another kid, as far as I'm aware. However, we have one, two, three people with children. So I think we're going to build the next houses for them. Nice. Uh, I always uh, marry Inga. She's in the first town at the chicken coop, and she is usually a, well, not anymore, because they nerfed it, but she's now a, a five uh, animal stuff. Yeah. Yep, since the uh, beta patch, um, yeah, it's got to cut down to five, but that's way higher than three still. See, we've got hammer, and some logs. Hmm. All right. Let's make sure I have room. Okay. So I want extra building.
<laughs> I, uh, I may or may not have a checklist. Because I kind of know who I need first, and it's just easier to grab those guys. kind of hard to north and south. I know they'd have more space across the river, but I kind of just, I don't want them over there. Maybe you can fit there. It's a weird ass place. Potential recruits. Let's have the have the fun there. Like you will never get into my village. <laughs> the other half of the time is like, I need this very specific job and nobody has it. with 
16 lungs. It would be nice if we had upgraded tools in there that they would work faster or get more stuff. They're not at that point yet. Oops, um, there we go. Making some planks. I'm playing on again, off again with this jacket. It's like I'm cold, then I'm warm, then I'm cold, then I'm warm. It has yet to make up its mind. Yep. Well, mostly a quiet morning. Hopefully everybody's up, getting around, getting their stuff done. So I can get to work. Or they're at work. Having a good hopefully everybody's having a good day this morning. But we'll see. Yes, I am 100% sure that as soon as uh, the season is over, that I will be sleeping. I'm not sure for how long, but I will be sleeping. There we go. Got our planks. Now I'll start back here. Well, I thought I did overdid it on the planks, but apparently I did not. Okay. I've got some more wood. I think Hornica and uh, Jez back here are the only two places that I didn't actually check for recruits most of the time. I had my northern run lap though.
do 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 This morning. You have any luck on your recruitment zone? Yep. Sorry guys, not not super chatty this morning. Just like I said, kinda relaxing and uh getting some stuff done. That and I'm super tired and we'll be taking a nap as soon as we're uh finished with this season. Here, start of a hill. No, how did this happen? Okay, this way. It's a planks, it's the logs. Some sticks. Et, et voilà. Hammer. Right, all right. We'll go make some planks. It's so dark here. <laughs> oh no. So your like internet network at home was gone? Hopefully you won't have to cancel your stream tonight. I hope you have a good one actually. Alright, there we go. And mobile data? Jeez. I pay... 50 bucks a month for mine, it's unlimited everything. But it's because I specifically look for something like this. But I don't actually use a lot of data either, so there's that. Alright, so I need one log and then all rocks. We're actually going to get some sleeps, and then we'll do this in daylight. Give me one second. I will be right back.
Alrighty. Yeah, I didn't figure you guys wanted to hear me blow my nose, so. Uh, if you have it through Steam, Steam will tell you exactly how many hours you played it. I'm still surprised it's already 230 and we're not even out of uh, alpha yet. Alright, so we need one log. And some reacts. Steam doesn't count offline hours. Uh, mine does. There we go stone there. Da -da -da. We'll have to wait for logs to get back up over a hundred for us to make the next house. A bebop song. <laughs> well, song, maybe you're right. Maybe it doesn't count offline. Got me just a time. <sighs> nice. Decent amount of hours, like I said. Hours are great to count, but as long as you're having fun, that's the main point, right? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, um, I, since I'm all over the place with streaming, I decided to make four days a week something you guys could actually catch me on if you need to do. <laughs> um, usually it's just me doing this when I feel like playing. So these guys already got the oats down, and these guys got the flax down, and that's all we ask of them. It's a good deal. Let's see here. So, have you been playing? Have you been enjoying playing this game, Dwarf? Or is it just one you're watching that you think you might want to play? <laughs> hey, it's important. So it's like this is the entire point of this particular community is, is sharing info and uh, 
keeping everybody up to date on on stuff so yeah I appreciate you uh, putting the time in I was like I'm gonna double check this and, and make sure this is usable because it would be a big asset if it was so yeah see 250 arrows right there 68 dob Yeah, I hear ya. Yeah, sitting hunched over a computer is definitely not good for your shoulders. If you already have one that kind of hurts, that's, you know, double. Well, there is definitely a lot of key pressing for this game. <laughs> so, let's get some dab on this one. Nice. Yeah, I, I used to write game um, walkthroughs for uh, game FAQ. Let me rephrase it. Not for them on on that site. A lot when I was overseas in gaming, and uh, I really enjoy sharing information with the community. That's something I kind of kept up over the years. On occasion, you'll find a couple guides I made. I've started. I switched over to Steam to start doing stuff. Some of that. All right. We just lost a hammer. Yeah. Oops. We're gonna make a metal hammer. Yeah, we finally got our mind set up, so makes it a little easier to do this. Take 60 dob to upgrade a regular house, and it looks like it's gonna take six. Wait, there we go. Six seventy-two to do a medium-sized house. Seventy-two dob. There we go. All right, fully daubed, simple house. We don't need to upgrade to the humongous house because it's the exact same happiness and the exact same features which is management the first kid that's not our kid Wolfram much cooler name than my, our name I'm gonna go to the 100% 4 of house there you go and you can tell your parents you want a baby brother now
<laughs> well, Woodbird is the uh, is the name of my child. So yes, I feel you for weird names. Management, homeless people. Homeless people. There you go. So we got one family moved in and updated and ready for a second kid. Very nice. So we'll eventually do this with everybody, but uh, we'll see. Technology management. All right, everything is as it should be. Very nice. Well, Hunter's already level seven. This one too. Some of our farmers are level sixes. Very nice. Said all the craftsmen, none of the craftsmen have made it over three yet. Your kid's named Gerald? How did you do that? Not chicken. I had like a couple cool names for my kids. And I got Wigbert this time. Do, 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 do. I like having the sheep and cattle everywhere. And the baby calf. Mm. Alright, so they got every. Let me check the fields. Management, the fields. That one's good. That one's good now. That one's good. Excellent. Next. They're going to be a little sad, because there's going to be a lot of work for them to do. Yep. You're moving to your new house now. You'll love it. Yeah. Uh, I tried fencing them specifically so the person couldn't get in there, and they both ignored the fence. So there was that. I was like, how dare you? And they're like, well, too bad. I'm debating on if I should push back the rest of the houses a little bit, just for some space, in case they ever want a yard. Offensive to the fences. Make a good uh, rap battle song. All right. So the ones that are already daubed are ones we're not tearing down. And then we'll make a few of the nicer houses, bigger houses for the uh, other guys. Alright, I think we're not doing it because we don't have a hundred, uh, hundred logs. Pause it. Get all the ar iron arrows though. Heck yeah, keep going. Flax stock, so plenty of linen thread getting done. This is how it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, I still want to build my village here. I like I like this spot a lot. Uh, I just moved here just to mix things up this time, try something a little different, and it is a smidge closer to the village here because this one you could get to about here, which seems equidistant, but it didn't feel like it. I don't know. Sure. I'm not sure why. It's 
the technology. Okay, yeah, we got a little ways to go because the research storage three is the last one. We really got going for this. And we, we have three years until Unighost has another quest for us. Well, four technically, but three. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. Yeah, this one's now logging behind by a significant amount. Diplomacy is so, so far away. That's okay though. We'll do what we can. As always. But yeah, crafting is like 10, no problem. 10, no problem for survival. Diplomacy, we got 4. Farming, we only got 2 because we only did like a couple things ourselves. And then the rest of it is all on, uh, all on the other guys. Hunting, we're at 3 because most of it was done by the, the hunting lodge. And then this uh, cra extraction, we do most of the building, so it levels up just fine by itself. It's only at 7, though. It's actually a little surprising that's not already a little higher. That's what it's got. Can I help you with something? Uh, I'll get the wool. Because guess what? We has sheeps. J F, -f, -f for wool. <laughs> nice. You live up here. It's a good spot. That's where I got my mine this time. Usually put it right next to the bear. Here you go. Nice, so he goes a wool thread and some coins and some dynasty rep. These guys. Hey, what do you need help with? You're gonna ask me for a recurve bow, aren't you? A crossbow is always the same with you people. I don't mind when they ask for like stone arrows or wooden bolts or stuff like that, but I'm like, a whole crossbow? Mostly because I actually have to learn it, which means I have to buy it. Fifteen hundred gold. All right. Logs, linen thread, leather. Oh, I didn't get the iron. Didn't 
need planks. There we go. Um, iron. Like I said, kind of a quiet morning. Not, uh, brain's not activating to talk very much. <laughs> Just have to bear with me. Yeah, I saw in the forums a couple people did ask uh, the devs for reeds in some of the mountain areas around the lakes and stuff. There you go, dude. 150 coins, 7 meat, and some dynasty points. Still don't feel good about that trade. 125 is 5 more gold than what you get if you made it and sold it. But still disproportionate to the 1500 gold you have to buy to learn it. Leather, coin, okay. Okay, meat seems to still be doing really good. Even if this spoils, we'll just turn it into to something. But look at this, 35 cabbage in a season. Uh, so they did 25 cabbage in the season 24 pottage that's actually really good for these guys if they can do that they might be able to keep up with the demand but we shall see we will not go crazy on this stuff All right the only reason I'm doing this is to help because these crazy cats are about to get a truckload of this tomorrow. I know. Start the start the episode off just like we left. Start it. It's like in the episode just like we started it. Yeah, not not too exciting this morning, guys. Just getting some basic stuff done. Taxes paid, switching out a family home, and doing a lot of barn work and selling. We didn't sell any pottage, but we were able to sell arrows and flax seeds and clean out the two villages next to us, which is always our goal, to make sure they have no money by the time we're done with the season. So we did good. Yeah. That's basically what we what we got going. We'll be, be doing this for the next two minutes, maybe three. I think my s stomach settled down a little bit. Like I said, it's like all my brain is thinking about right now is curling up in bed. Like, no brain, stay awake just a little longer. You can do it. Alright, so somehow our stream yesterday and on Friday was like two hours to two hours and 30 something minutes. Almost, one of them was like two hours and 45 minutes somehow in a season. And this season, we're at like a hour and f maybe 40, less than. Well, we should finish this up pretty quickly, actually. A little sooner than expected. I'm actually got, glad you guys could have caught, caught us this morning. Caught me this morning. 
I do appreciate you guys hanging out here. Spend just a little bit of time. It's like I know these tasks aren't the most super exciting, but they're necessary tasks. Because I kind of want to measure how much stuff we get next season. All the stuff that's going to be harvested. It's going to be a lot of stuff. If we do anything, we might do half a field of cabbage, uh, but that is it. We don't need a full thing of cabbage. I don't think nobody wants to sit here through me making 10,000 pottages. <sighs> yeah, exactly as our community. I'm excited to see like stuff that they had got in the works coming. I'm halfway tempted to log into like my old game and see how well the save carried over and what I needed to do, especially since kids aren't your population cap anymore. But I had one that was stuck on the 5,000 quest getting 5,000 points and it was only one or two points per quest that you could get sometimes and now it's 30 things of points so I could actually probably finish that in three quests now but I had stopped after two days of, of questing because I was like that's too much oh that was two real life days by the way not just two regular days in game days yeah So I won't mind popping over there and looking around and see what that does. It's funny, it's like sometimes um, I'm like, oh man, that's going to be so hard. And then other times I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so easy. So one, of, one of my playthroughs has like all sixes for people's skills. Like if they're a farmer, they have at least six in farming. Field working, all this other stuff. Do 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 Longest day ever Yeah, this is nothing. Uh the wheat grain that's gonna come in tomorrow. It's going to be substantial. There's going to be a lot of it. As well as the flax too. I think when I get 5,000 wheat grain, I think I'll switch out back to flax. Uh, Zon, that's what I was thinking. If they ever actually use the NPC diplomacy, it'll be for merchant stuff. Which I'm kind of thrilled to, thrilled to see, but I don't think they've figured out how they want to do merchants yet. Whether they want a traveling merchant to come to our village, or if we'll be able to assign merchants to go to other people's village. That's why I said I think we need a trade building uh, in our town that people can come to to trade for and uh, we can put goods we want to sell and then list stuff we want to buy yeah there's speculation around it but yeah diplomacy is definitely uh, selling and buying things for sure yep I mean, they're going to have bandits, so if nobody's traveling. Like I said, I, I still claim that the wagon sites are going to be where bandits are. That's, that's my guess. I mean, too bad none of us know how to build anything. Or we could repair the wagons and drag them back to our house. But alas, it'll never happen. Yeah, exactly. I'm 
My only wish is that when we get the bandits, that their gear, the stuff they drop, is gonna be nice stuff. Like, they've probably been robbing people, so they're not completely poor and ragtag and starving. Or if you injure them to a certain degree, if you can recruit them to your village. Regardless of your dynasty points. Yeah. Zana is pretty much what I would do. Uh, it's like, I'll Greyhawk them, and then... Well, I might execute them, and then Greyhawk them. Also, I really like their shirt, and then I'll ask them to take it off first before I kill them. That way I don't get blood all over it. Somebody's uh, joking about wanting to actually play a bandit in this game. It made me laugh. I'm like, oh, I guess that would be kind of fun. Do 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 do. Sorry, guys. I know thrashing. Thrashing and pottage are two of the favorite things people come to my channel to watch. I mean, I always get the comments, if only we had more pottage and thrashing. I'm sure you guys get the same comments. <laughs> uh. It's okay. It's definitely the kind of day that I actually appreciate this. Because my brain would be running circles in the village again, guys. I just want to throw that out there. I want to recruit people from every single village. They'll still live in the villages they live in. But then they bring me, like I meet them outside the village and they give me stuff that they stole. for a small fee. There we go. We did it. Okay. get the grain down here and I think that'll be it for today if uh, if I wasn't feeling so queasy this morning I would definitely stay longer but uh my stomach says we're going back to sleeps we're gonna sleep it off look how much pottage they made much better so 18 was roughly how much pottage per season they were doing with just two people uh, so we're up to 27 with 3. So that's not too bad. Got 32 cabbage at 25%. I think it'll last one more season. Got 22 buckets of milk, which is actually really good money, but we're out of money to sell things to. I'm gonna drink this bucket of milk. There we go. Tried fit meat. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's a good outcome. <laughs> well, before you do that, make sure to save F5. And if it goes horribly wrong and something bad happens, then you uh, can always F9 your way out of it. Hi, Inga. Hunting. Nice weather. How have you been? Alright. Well, we're going to do this here. And in for map. So, I wanted to say thank you guys for coming to hang out. And um, I'll be around this time again tomorrow. Uh, if I don't get a yin to jump on and game a little bit later today. Uh, but I am going to catch a nap real quick. Um, anyway. 
thanks for hanging out. Uh, let me see if I get this right this time. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube. Oh, cool. I've never had that actually work before. Thank you, Doe. <laughs> uh, and then, like I said, if you want to catch the recaps and the uh, stuff, it's archived over on YouTube uh, as soon as I can get it posted. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Or not a good night. It's, it's a, if I'm going back to sleep, is it a good night? No, have a good morning. Happy Monday, guys.